Hello everybody, welcome you to the practical session of determination of soil moisture content by gravimetric method. As you all know, the soil moisture is a highly dynamic parameter that varies over time and space. It can be defined as the water present in the voider spaces among the soil particles. The soil moisture content can be expressed either in volume basis or in mass basis. If we are going to express it in mass basis, it can be either the dry weight basis or the wet weight basis. As you all know, the soil moisture is an important parameter governing meteorological, hydrological, agricultural as well as climate related events. The soil moisture determination is essential in irrigation scheduling as well as planning the irrigation systems, determination of other soil parameters such as bulk density in the agricultural perspectives. Gravimetric method is the direct method for the determination of soil moisture content. When compared with the other methods, this method has several advantages, especially the simplicity in the method as well as the accuracy. And this method is used to calibrate the other methods as well. Though it is a time-consuming process, a tedious process, it is the widely practiced method. Now we are going to introduce the materials and instruments we need. So this is the soil auger. We are using this one to collect the soil samples from the field and the moisture cans. We kept the samples into these uh, moisture cans. Balance, we weigh the soil samples and also we need the desiccator and an hour. First of all, we are going to measure the empty weight of these moisture cans one by one. In this particular experiment, we are going to collect the soil samples from four different desired depth, especially from 0 to 10 cm, 10 to 20, 20 to 30 and finally 30 to 40 cm. In each desired depth, we are going to collect three samples. So altogether, four different depth, three into three, we will collect 12 samples. The number of samples were increased to improve the efficiency and the accuracy of the results obtained and also to make sure that the value obtained is the representative of the sample taken. Now we are in the field to collect the soil samples. You can see in the soil agar we have clearly denoted different depth levels. First of all we are going to penetrate the equipment into the top soil up to 10 cm to collect the soil sample. As it reaches 10 cm you have to stop screwing and remove the equipment from the soil. Slowly collect the sample into the poly bag. Let's take another soil sample from 10 to 20 cm depth as we practiced earlier. As we have demonstrated, you have to collect samples from all four different depths. Finally, the collected samples will be packed in an airtight polysac bag and taken to the laboratory for further procedures. Now we have taken the uh, collected soil samples into the laboratory, so let's measure the weight weight of these samples. So let's keep these in the oven for drying for more than 8 hours. Let's set the temperature at uh, 105 Celsius degrees. Now we are going to take the samples outside because it is already 12 hours gone. After taking the sample from the oven, we are going to keep it into the desiccator. This is for the cooling purpose. Now the samples are adequately cooled. So we have to remove the sample from the desiccator. Finally, we can measure the dry weight of this sample using the balance. 
We have to repeat this process several times until it gets a constant weight. Generally, the moisture content in dry weight basis is the ratio of mass of water to the mass of dry soil. As we already calculated the mass of dry soil, now we have to find the mass of water. The mass of water is the difference between the wet mass of soil and dry mass of soil. Next, the moisture content in wet weight basis is computed in similar way. The only difference is the difference in the mass of soil is divided by the mass of wet soil. The moisture content in volume basis is calculated by the volume of water divided by the volume of soil. As we know that the density of water is equal to 1 gram per cubic centimeter, we can substitute as mass of water divided by volume of soil. This is the way to record the data to calculate the moisture content at different soil depths. M1 is the mass of empty moisture can. M2 the mass of can with wet soil. M3 is the mass of can with dry soil. And the difference between M2 and M3 is the mass of water. Then moisture content can be calculated by dividing the difference between M2 and M3 by the difference between M3 and M1 multiplied by 100 for each sample. Finally, the moisture content of each depth is calculated by obtaining the mean values of replicates.